Well hey YouTubers and welcome to my Gamertag video. A few weeks ago Gamester81 did his Gamertag video and nominated several people afterwards including myself. Well here I am after much consideration of having to work out my three favourite systems and then having to work out my favourite game for each of those systems. Well I've given it my best shot so let's have a look. <laughs> Where on earth do you start searching through the mountains of video games and consoles? It's just mind-boggling. There are years and years worth of gaming material here to hunt through and actually I really didn't know where to start but then I finally realised I should start at the very beginning and that's what I did. So I started with the very first games console that I ever played on. Well, it was 1984-1985 when I had my first gaming experience and what an introduction to video gaming it was. A system that was so easy to use, so easy to set up, it had great sound, excellent controls and unbelievable games at the time. We had a huge collection of games to choose from but sadly I don't own all of those games. But what a lovely system it is. Well that's the system out of the way, but what about my favourite game? Well actually, that was the first game that I ever played, and that's this. Well what an introduction to video games, playing this as my first ever game. It's very similar to Pac-Man or Munchman, and the object, just like those games, is to move your munchkin around the maze as quickly as possible, collecting the munchies along the way and avoiding the munchers who are out to kill you. But what a beautiful game and an excellent start to video gaming. Well where do I go now? I had a Spectrum 128K Plus 2 for many years and it always kept me quiet and it was an excellent system. But as soon as I received my first Nintendo, I was absolutely blown away and video gaming went through the roof. And that is my second system, my first ever Nintendo. console wars of the early 90s were excellent. The 16-bit era of video gaming was stretched to the limit. Sega vs Nintendo was extremely exciting, but I was always a Nintendo fan and I loved the Super Nintendo and I've played about 75% of the games ever produced and that's why it's down as my favourite system number two. So once again, that's the system out of the way. But what about the game? What's my favourite game? I could so easily say Super Mario World, it would be just easy and straightforward. But actually, I've decided on this one. I've looked after this game more than any other game in my collection as it's one of the greatest adventures I've ever played and it's not the shortest of games either. Searching for all the different villages, castles and lands, collecting the many items and interacting with many people, searching the light and the dark worlds which makes for an epic adventure and a game which I still play up to this very day. It's absolutely superb. Where do I go now? Well, I've chosen a system from when gaming first started out to a system during the console wars of the 16-bit era. So, actually, I think it would only be fair if I chose a present-day console. So, I've chosen this one. Oh. 
I remember reading about the Wii years before it was released and I was so excited to hear about the way we would interact with games which would change gaming forever. I watched a ton of videos of people testing the games at the E3 convention and I was absolutely gobsmacked. So you found out my third, but no means last, favourite system. But what about the game? Well, this time it is a Mario game, but which one? What a game, it took Mario to unbelievable places, searching through the galaxy and hunting once again for all of those stars, and not to forget rescuing Princess Peach, exploring the little planets, soaring through the skies, meeting new and old friends, it's a Mario game at its best and I'll treasure it forever. Well, that completes my three favourite systems and my favourite game for each of the systems. And I've had an excellent time making this video. It's been great fun and it's nice to see some of my gaming material around me because it doesn't happen all that often. And it's given you guys a great opportunity to see what else I've got stored up in that loft of mine. But there is plenty more to see. Well, I've got some gamer tagging to do now and I've got three people to reel off. And first of all, I've got Ready O3. Second of all, I've got CMB Retrospective. And finally, number three is Steve Benway. And I'm sure everyone would love to hear your gamer tag videos and I'm looking forward to them as well. Well, thanks for watching this video. Uh, it's been great fun once again and enjoy the rest of your week. And once again, I'll see you on Sunday for Video Games and Consoles from the Loft Part 2. And there's nothing much left to say, but thanks for watching.